guys, it's Jen, and I have finally finished my 2017 December daily project. I wanted to share it with you. Um, it has taken me a little while to get this done, obviously, but I'm excited that it's finally finished. This is only my second time completely finishing December daily. I have other um, years started, but not completely finished. So I will just quickly walk you through this. This video is going to be a little bit more detailed, but if you want just like a flip through, I am going to post, or I'm going to try to post that over on my Instagram. So I'm at Crafty Jen Scal there, and I'll have it on my IGTV, which will be my first video there. So we'll see. Uh, anyway, so I have this green album from Allie Edwards. And then I also do want to preface this. This is kind of dumb to preface with, I think, but <laughs> I want to preface this with um, there's nothing like super amazingly done in this album. And towards the end, I just wanted to get it done. So keep that in mind. It is what it is. And I'm so glad it's done and that it has my stories in it. And so uh, that was the most important thing to me. So first I have just a transparency page. I think this is from Felicity Jane. This is a six by eight album. And I used mostly stuff from Allie Edwards December Daily, but I also mixed in a few other things here and there. So here's my intentions page. I used a digital four by six card and then just typed on the bottom so I could print it out, but you could easily do this with a four by six card and then just write beneath it or something like that. So here's, um, oh, one thing I should also mention is <sighs> this was a really hard year for me. And so I wanted to find joy um in all of the little things of life that was my kind of my intention and um I wasn't sure that I'd want to be face face first in a lot of the pictures and so I my goal here was to find joy where I stand and I figured I could take pictures of my feet anywhere and that would be a way that I could uh, tell my story this year. So not every picture is feet, but there are a lot of feet pictures in here. And my daughter asked why, so I thought I would share that with you too. Um, so here's day one. Um, just have a little page, a uh, six by eight, and then I like full photos. So there's a lot of full photos in here. Uh, and then a kind of three by eight insert. And here's day two, so this part coordinates here and this part coordinates here. I did a lot of like digital stuff in the beginning um, of this album just to, I don't know why. Um, this is also a digital, I really like the way that this one turned out. With a little Felicity Jane star clip there. The giant three with that little peekaboo, I love that. Then we've got day four, so another feet. You can see I've got all my feet pictures here and lots of full size photos. There's Malia's feet. So I thought it was interesting to contrast this day. These, these are her feet too. This day with this day. And then on this one, I did a bunch of fives all over the entire card. Just thought it would be fun to do something a little bit different. This one, I intentionally took a picture of her feet, but I also wanted one of her face. This is Malia playing the ukulele. Fa la la fit well with that, I thought. This is something that I wrote uh, with an embossing pen and then embossed. Um, here's our feet cozy in bed. And our door. Little tab here. I stitched this down. I like stitching. Again, another full-size photo, so lots of full-size photos. Here's one of me and my friend. We went to Coco. And a little family pic. There's one in here. <laughs> and it's that one. Um, these are my feet at my friend's door, and her cat was standing there with me. I thought it was cute. Um, and then I have this little tag with the story on the back side. And then on the back, I just stamped and embossed. I think that this is from um, Liz Tamanaha. What is P Paisley Press? Yeah, um, one of her stamp sets for Allie. And then here's a picture of my mine and my daughter's feet. And then I had a little, these little um, circles, and then I did this as a flip up. So what I did was I just put a circle on the background of this card. 
I put this circle on top and then I cut a slit in the page protector so that I could slide the top of it underneath and then um, just creased it so it could fold up. So there's um, a pattern paper on the back of this and then this is just typed onto a circle I glued onto the photo. Hope that makes sense. And I put a little, I mean it's obvious that it kind of pops up here, but I put a little tab there just to make it more um, noticeable. Here we had a secret Santa delivering stuff to us all this season, uh, who ended up, I think, being my mom. We never actually found out, but I'm 99% <laughs> sure it was my mom. Um, so there's a little picture of the snowman in the window. And then this, I just, there was a pocket included in this year's kit and I really wanted to use it. So I, maybe it was in the 2018. This is a mixture of multiple years because it took me so long to make. Um, but I put Christmas cards in there, so that's a fun way to do that. And then this is from Snow and Cocoa, I believe, from Crate Paper. Um, here we have, this is a good way to like kind of decorate the back of a page. I just did my title and then this is a 4 by 6 card in the middle of it. And so that, I like the way that that fit on there. And then this is a vellum page. So I wanted to do a few vellum pages in here. So there's my feet there. And then I talked, these were other pictures from the day. So this is me and my husband. We got home from work and got directly in our jammies. So I just took a picture of that. Um, a little drawing my daughter made. And this was just a day at work. Wanted to kind of show what our routine was. And um, this was outside a nice frosty kind of day. And then my slippers make many appearances in this album. I wore them a lot. And I put work perks because I could wear my slippers to work at Felicity Jane. <laughs> um, here's taking my daughter to school in the morning. So I think that these are kind of fun pictures because you can see on the days, like some days she's wearing boots and some days she's wearing her Converse and you know, it's just kind of a fun little nod to the season. And so I thought this was fun. Um, and so you can see her backpack down there as well. And then here we're decorating the tree. And um, I s wasn't super into Christmas this year. I was kind of being a Grinch. And so we put up an, we had been get going to the tree lot to get a tree every year for a long time. But this year we put up an old, old artificial tree and Mally and Philip did it. And I'm grateful that they were bringing that spirit of Christmas into our home. Because like I said, I wasn't feeling it. It was a hard year. I was in a hard place, so. Um, we have a chalkboard wall in our kitchen and Malia usually draws something on it. Um, she drew a little nativity on it, which I thought was cute. Uh, this was a shopping trip that I did with my friend. We went shopping again the next day. I wear these boots a lot too, I still do. <laughs> um, and then, so here's some pictures of the outlets and you can see like the decorations, which I thought was fun. I also liked the way that this turned out, just cutting down um, a card that had a, a quote skinny on it, a three by four card, and then putting it next to the photo because this was all dead space here. And so that was a good way for me to bring in a little something more. Um, and then just the word hello, and then um, like as a jumping off point for telling these stories. Uh, this one, my nephews went to the dollar store and bought us all gifts. My sister let them loose and said they could get us whatever they want, which was funny. Um, they were spending the holidays in Louisiana, so we had it a little bit early. So they bought my husband these funny glasses, and they bought me um, like a lanyard, and Malia had some other, I don't know, it was just really funny the things that they picked out. Um, and then on this page, this was just them. We gave them some presents and they were just being silly and boys. And I wanted to include all of the photos. So what I did was I just, this is on the back of a full six by eight photo. So what I did was I just put four three by fours and then I used washi tape um, to kind of make it look like a present with the word joy. So that's a simple and fun way to, to give your page a little something extra. Um, here's me. Again, outside my feet, I put the weather. Um, it happened to be 18 degrees on this day, and it's the 18th, so I thought that would be fun to include. Um, this tag is from Allie Edwards, but this little piece is from um, Crate Paper, and so are the coppery 
things. Um, and then on the back of that, I did like this little, this is something that I kind of stole from Amy Gretchen, but hanging these little tags, I thought those were really cute. I covered the back of the tag in some patterned paper and then um, just talked a little bit more about our Secret Santa. So here's me standing at the doorstep with some Secret Santa stuff. I messed up on the stamping here, but I decided I did not care enough to reprint this photo. So you can read what it says and I'm fine with it. <laughs> this is where I am with this. Um, this was pajama day at school. I felt like that was all I needed to say right here is school pajama day and that kind of tells this story. Um, so this is my daughter and her feet in the car. Um, I went to work and one more last trip to Walmart before it gets too crazy. So this is me at work, this is me at Walmart. Um, this is one of my stamps that I went ahead and used as a template for stitching the letters. Let me see if I can show you that a little closer. It was kind of a fun way to use a stamp, so you can think about stamps as a stitching guide. And then this was a Paisley Press um, stamp from December Daily. And then on the back, I have this. So this is day 20. This is day 21. And I talked about how I had been feeling grinchy. I did take a selfie, but... Um, Scow Humbug was my hashtag I made up for it. I'm, I'm just... I wasn't feeling it, but Mally got out of school and I was excited for some bonding time. So I used my Feeling Grinchy stamp set here and here to document some of that. And then we had our family Christmas party on um, the 22nd, the Cook family Christmas party. And there were lots of photos I wanted to share with that. So I did an insert and I didn't want the whole thing um, you can see there's lots of spaces where I've just included embellishment and stuff and so all I needed was two rows and so I just cut one of them off. I'm thinking I may need to add a tab to this um, just looking at it now but I haven't yet so maybe I will. And these little cards are um, it's transparency that has this kind of pattern on it. Actually know what I did I got this idea from um, Jennifer McGuire just remembered you put embossing powder in a laminating pouch and send it through your laminator and then it heats the embossing powder and makes it look like uh, snow and so I did that on a sheet and then cut it up into some of these little cards so I thought that was cute um, and then here's the back you can see a bunch of different photos random little photos and then I my main photo I did do feet I thought this was cute of my niece we're all you can kind of see all of our feet we're all sitting around in a circle playing this game and I talk about that in my journaling here um, and then this actually goes with that this is still day 22 but we our secret Santa gave us a jar full of money that day <laughs> which was awesome it was like four hundred dollars of money in that little thing which was kind of fun um, and then day 23, um, I just have this little photo, one last shopping trip, and I made this in, um, I think it was in one of the product play, December Daily product play workshops, maybe, I can't remember, um, but I just stamped 23 and on a shrinky dink and then shrunk it down to make a little tag. So let me see if I can bring that closer here so you can kind of see that. I don't want to focus too well, but I think you can get the idea there. And I put it on this rubber tag, and then I may need to put a little tab on this as well. Um, and then I talked about wrapping Christmas. Um, so D Studio Calico has these cards that have, like for their um, Project Life kits, that have the month and the year, and then it kind of has like some other stuff up here it's a four by six card and then on the back it kind of tells you about the kit well I took that piece I cut it down and then I just added wrap underneath it because I have um, wrapped presents over here and then on this side I wanted to just share the wrapping paper that I used for our presents that year I used one for each of us so I just put our names or the letters of our names on each one and the um, the letters came from this year's so 2020's December Daily Kit. And um, then I just cut up a 6x8 paper and um, put it on the top of the back of this little tag, which is from Felicity Jane, um, this little insert, and talked about 
uh, how I switched it up that year because I usually do brown paper packages tied up with string. Um, here, this was something that I did at the um, December Daily Product Play when it was in real life. Um, but this was from the Product Play Workshop that Allie did online as well. And um, so this was a fun little uh, way to do a tree. Um, playing with shapes, maybe that was what that was. The shape, the shape for this one was tree. And I love the way this looks. I want to do this again. <laughs> um, but I kind of mimicked this in a small way on the opposite page. Um, finding joy in the small details of the season. This is Christmas Eve, so I used this little puffy sticker. I used this little house from Felicity Jane. And it is just a trans, uh, or a piece of vellum that I printed. So you can see it's a little bit curled up, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, and then I have this little 4x6 insert with just a quote on this side. And on the other side, I have photos. My husband's parents were in Ghana, Africa this year. And so um, we still did our stuff. We still did like our little family get together that we always do on Christmas Eve and just FaceTimed them. And so they're in the background on these photos. So I wanted to definitely make sure to include that. And then I used my Feeling Grinchy stamp set for this one that's to make this card that says my heart just grew through three sizes. And here's us just chilling on Christmas Eve. And then here we have Christmas Day. So this is super early in the morning on Christmas Day. I took a picture of our main street. In fact, I wanted to type that somewhere on here, but I haven't yet. Um, this is one of our traditions. So I just have like a little fold out here of my daughter breaking through the wrapping paper. So we usually put up an old wrapping paper and she breaks through it. <laughs> I still make her do this even though she's 14. I think it's funny. Um, and then I have another Felicity Jane insert here that says believe. And then on the back of this, I have this, which is made with um, the December stories by the month kit from this 2020. And I love this card that says embrace the mess. And I put that um, on this big picture of the wrapping paper after we opened all the presents, told a little bit about that day. And then um, I finished the album off with just a six by eight uh, paper that came from a previous December daily uh, kit. So I finished it. That's the thing I'm most happy about. Does it have the most techniques or beautiful pages in here? No. Do I care? No, not really. I'm just glad that I have the stories and the photos and I'm super proud of myself for finishing. So go me, pat on the back. And I hope that this inspires you to finish your December daily album and maybe gave you some ideas on what you can do um, in to finish up your album and and maybe for this coming year as well. Thanks so much for watching and if you have any questions just leave a comment in the video um, comment area below and I will try to answer you. Thanks so much for watching and hope to see you again soon. Bye!